how to date a video. The video I did on the focus tree with the passives was probably two months before I actually uploaded it. Because it was something that I had just done, so I did a video on it because I completely forgot about them and hadn't done it in the future. I was not surprised by the amount of people who said late, but I was taken by surprise by the number of people going through the comments section on that asking what is the best way to form focus standing. Focus standing, of course, being one of the quickest ways to get there is to not do anything I just did, just jump to your operator. This is not anything to do with it, this is just the easiest way to get here. And I'm saying it out loud because I was about to do something completely different. Focus standing cap. Wow. I still get amazed every time I see that. It's huge. It is really important. Come on, back out. Go back to the frame. Thank you very much. To be running lenses. To gain... It's before anything... Get in the... Before anything else, you have to have lenses installed in things to do anything. The lenses vary in their size. You have the normal ones that give you a 1.25% of excess affinity is converted into focus. Then the greater one, which is 1.75. The Eidolon, which is 2.25. And the Lua, which is the max one you can get at the moment, which is a 3.25. The Lua lens is only available from the Disruption mission on Lua, it comes as a blueprint, you need to put a greater one into it, an Eidolon one into it even. The Eidolon one, you can see here, I had to borrow this because I don't have any Eidolon lens blueprints, you get from Bounties in Cetus, obviously, Eidolon based, and they need greater lenses in them to be able to build an Eidolon lens. So, so far, Lua, you build using an Eidolon, Eidolon, you use building a greater. Now it gets into, well, you can see the greater ones here, which is why I'm using this. Uh, you need four of the normal lenses to build a greater lens of that type. Unlike the Eidolon lens here, it is like the Lua lens. You can put any lens you want into this one blueprint and it will give you the lens that you put in. You put the greater one in, and it converts it into an Eidolon of that type. But, for the greater ones, they are locked to certain ones, certain focus trees. And it will need one Eidolon, one former, and four of the normal lenses to build these. These are the easiest blueprints to get, because they are in the marketplace. And the blueprint for these costs 200,000 credits then costs 25,000 credits to build that form of the Orgon Crystal and the normal lenses. You used to get, and I say used to, get the regular lens from sorties, but you will notice that, well, not there anymore. No lenses are actually there anymore. They moved them. They are actually, the Madura lens is on Bounty 3, and the Madura, uh, it's the same one, <laughs> and the Unari lens is on Bounty 4 in Cetus. The other ones, of course, available from Udico in Fortuna for Obvalis bounties. Same thing, Bounty 3, Bounty 4. Weirdly is the naming system for them. Madurai lens again and Vazarin lens. Meaning that there's two lenses missing that I Everything I have found says that they are from bounties on Cetus and in Fortuna. I always want to say Orvalis and Fortuna is the free world part. It's not as the other way around. But Udico and Konzu are the ones that have the regular lenses that you need to upgrade to the greater lens. Well, you need four of them to upgrade it to the greater lens for that little bit extra. Then you upgrade those Luckily, you only need one to upgrade it to an Eidolon, then you can upgrade it to a lower one in the future. It's getting from the normal to the greater that is time-consuming. Obviously, places like this, uh, yeah, level 80 to 100 missions, if you can sit in there and form before rescuing, the actual, because it's a rescue mission now, before completing it, because once you rescue them, you want to get out as quick as possible, 
you can probably get a fair bit there. You can do higher level survival missions, defense missions, long running missions. The higher the enemy, the more you will get. I honestly, and I went through this with the whole leveling things up quickly. Yes, you can go here, you can do Akkad the, against the Infested, which are weak, and give half the affinity every other faction does for that level. Uh, when it comes to focus farming, I'm sorry, there is only one place to go. Obviously the best place to go for one reason and one reason only. It starts at the second round, not on the first round. And that is every round of Elite Sanctuary Onslaught will start with an active uh, lens, basically, an added bonus. It is guaranteed at the beginning of every single round. Not a it might come or it can come. This is also a great place to go to max out your syndicate standing every day. The focus boost. Yeah, there you go. 15,000 focus standing in a minute. But all of the enemies that were around the doorway are now gone. They have already been killed by the other players in here, so that is a lot of standing that I, now I will not get. It sucks, but it happens. And this has honestly been one of the best places to just gain anything. Knew that was going to happen, that's why I activated his fourth ability. Because it just makes things so much better for when I go down and I still manage to kill a ton of enemies. So when this happens, oh, go away, go away, go away. I still end up with 23,000 after coming through late, missing the initial influx of enemies that are there as you enter one of the new areas, new zones. I'm actually really annoyed that I died there. <laughs> I just, oh, I'm, I'm so used to having a sentinel. And, of course, my secondary is out of ammo. Not the best of rounds, as I mentioned before, have had a lot better. But you can see, 40,000 from the Lua Lens, 12 and a bit thousand on the... How was that possible? I was using my secondary more than anything else. And the melee, I don't think I even used that, and it's still got nearly 10,000. So... 40, 50, 60, 70, throwing the 2.5 and, and the 1.5 onto there to add that up to 10. Uh, rounding this up, you're talking about 70,000 standing from one 12 minute mission. Okay? Maybe more like 78,000 from one mission. Wow. Okay. And it all, because it's mine, going on to one skill tree that I cannot do that with anymore. So, why are you not letting me do this? Oh, because I can't until I have the million points. I can't slowly put it in there. I forgot about that. Commit these changes. New. No. Uh, I was gonna say, don't do that. As for the rest of them, leveling these up, as well as the one you happen to be working on more than anything else, yes, this is all still important, because you still need to raise the pool, which is why in here, I have this disabled. Which I shouldn't have, but I had to, to be able to enable that one. Just kind of annoying, but I need uh, a few more points in the pool. 11. I need one more point in the pool, which will cost 119,000. So, actually, I think while I'm in here, I'm going to just increase the pool with that because it will mean that I can go in here, re enable this, and have five unbound passives and still keep the skill tree maxed out. Yes, keep that working as it should. There is also, and people mentioned this in the last one, you can use boosters to get this to go up more because it is related to affinity, and you can also use that. The Naramon Focus Tree. Kills from melee grant 45% more affinity. You can melee your way through Elite Sanctuary Onslaught and get a ton of affinity that way. Probably one of the better ways, but I haven't 
touched the Naramon tree since they took away Shadow Step. And I just, I know it's there. People keep mentioning it, but I haven't touched it. So I'm not going to mention it because I know nothing about it other than the fact that it just gives way too much affinity and you have to go melee. If you went melee only, yeah, still make no difference. You just need to actually kill things with melee attacks to gain that 45% more affinity. So that, taken to, oh, I wish you could do this all from one menu, Akkad on Eris, they would make up for the fact that the Infested give less affinity than any other faction for the level that they are, whatever level they are, but yeah, Elite Sanctuary Onslaught, 70,000 for 12 minutes work. Yeah, less than an hour you can max out the daily standing bonus easily. Picking up this glowing symbol here during normal missions will convert more than just the lens can actually do outside of actually farming this. Of course this was a bad example because this is the gift of the Lotus Alert for that melee riven after the dev stream. So we'll only be gaining extra mastery on melee. Uh, I keep calling it mastery, uh, focus standing on melee. Which is a bit of a shame but obviously this is how you farm it outside of actually just Forming for missions and that thing flew away as I went to do a melee in the air. That was really nice of it I think I completely missed that. I also wish I'd brought Necros instead of him. 5,521 not bad considering I have one weapon and a frost both of which have lenses on of course. Just remember, if you do not have a lens equipped, you will gain no standings. So if I go like this, my primary will now gain no standing. Uh, my secondary will now gain no standing. Eh, melee now won't. So you will only gain standing on the melee, the Warframe side of this. You need it on every weapon you have equipped. If they are maxed, if you are leveling them up, you cannot put a lens on it. It has to be max so the extra affinity can be converted. No lens, no standing. But anyway, we'll leave this off here for now while I try and re-equip everything I had equipped. Because, well, I am actually farming standing and still trying to get other things done in Elite Sanctuary Onslaught. So I will be heading back in there. So thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time.